you have created a content idea gener content idea generation tool. That's how you say that for entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. and it's called the statement piece framework. So, it is. what what is a statement piece? Well, uh, I'm so glad you asked. So first of all, um, the statement piece, statement piece studio is the name of my business is what I branded around. Um, and it's based on, first of all, the idea that whenever you're wearing like a statement piece of clothing or jewelry, it is sort of a stake in the ground for you. It is something that you are wearing on your body, um, that tells people about you before you even have to say a word. It also does what the best brands do, which is attract and repel. Because if you're wearing like a super loud t-shirt or like a jumpsuit, like I am right now, um, um, and somebody is out there in the world and they're like, this woman looks nuts. She looks like a clown walking around in that jumpsuit. I'm going to stay away. Uh, not my people. Whereas somebody who sees what I'm wearing and loves it comes up to say, hello, we start a conversation. Um, that, that's exactly who I should be attracting. And so I call, uh, it's called Statement Piece Studio because I build Statement Piece brands, which are brands that really do the talking for you before you have to explain or say another word. Every time I looked for a way to inspire myself to write a blog, it was always the same rules. Okay, who is your audience? What is your problem? How can you solve it? Which is all well and good, but it's also the reason why we have a million posts that are like six steps to optimize your sales page. And I didn't want to get into that. I had no interest, like it was already crowded. A lot of smart people had already created that kind of content. Um, and so I actually kind of took an opposite track and I started focusing on writing about things that were important to me as a person, like the experience of being a creative in the online space, the ups and downs of entrepreneurship, sort of the, the nuance of marketing that I felt a lot of people were missing. Um, and so I also started to get a little bit more polarizing and really put my stake in the ground uh, in some debates in the online space. And I really started um, over time to build a name for myself that way. Uh, because I was creating this content, sharing this stuff that while it wasn't like traditionally highly strategic content, it was getting widely shared, widely recognized, widely appreciated, and it was making me really memorable. I find the best creative work happens when you train yourself to, to pause and really take notice of your own ideas and what you're thinking and what you react to and what you respond to and what's important to you, because that is the richest place for you to sort of create content. So I developed the statement piece framework. The brand was going to be statement piece studio. So the statement piece framework is really a process for learning to notice your ideas, learning to dig into what you get passionate about, excited about, and then creating from there, as opposed to kind of crossing things off a list as to like what strategic pillars you should probably have in your business if you're doing XYZ. Um, and I find it opens up entirely new worlds to people. Um, and it's been going strong since about 2018 now. I think that's even highlighted by the fact that like today's consumer cares so much more about like what brands, like the values of the brand. Yep. Like, how, how is the product made or what, why do you, why do you do it? Not just like, yeah. what do you do and how does it benefit me? But like, why do you do it? I think people care a lot more about that, especially in like the younger generations We're we're definitely seeing that. And yeah. I would attribute that a lot to probably the rise of the internet and just like the the sheer number of conversations and types of conversations that are happening that people are just kind of listening in on all the time. The key to creating content and like showing up more in your marketing is to show up more in your marketing. Um, yeah. And excited to do so and build that momentum. And if you're giving yourself chores, you're not going to do it. Like if you're focusing on, but if you're focusing on sharing the stuff that's important to you, that makes you excited, that makes you mad, um, that really gives you a chance to kind of flex your skills and talk about the nuance of the way that you work and who you work with. Um, it just opens up this whole world of exciting content that's um, so impactful and memorable. And when you think about when you're Googling something and you're looking for like three steps to what, it's like, okay, great, I got my content, awesome. But when you're reading something that's more of a statement piece, piece of content, you're reading that and you're like, oh my God, who wrote this? I'm gonna hunt them down and find yeah. them. And it really creates that solid connection, that memorability.